What's up everybody? It's John and Ellie with Cripple Fox Gaming and we're doing a new game. We are going to enter into the end of the world. From the birth of life to the end of the world. We're all doomlings. We're all doomlings. Uh, you're a doomling, he's a doomling, she's a doomling, we're, we're a doomling. all doomlings. This is a new game that we just got on the Kickstarter. Yoink. From... It is by Justice and Andrew Meyer. It's a first edition. Doomlings. Doomlings.com, etc., etc. But this game, I is it's a kind of a hand management, kind of a trait, uh, set collecting game. What you are doing is you are going to start, you're going to be essentially starting from the birth of life, and you're going to be developing various traits. That's these cards. Uh, through the various ages until the end of the world. It's a very simple game. It's very easy to read, and if we make it hard, then you can go to doomlings.com and uh, don't want to read. Make it hard. Just go to the video doomlings.com. It's a lot quicker and a lot less uh, shenanigans. But this is how you set it up. So we have uh, all the traits are shuffled into a pile. There's uh, five different colors. Well, there's four colors, one colorless. There's different ages. These are... Uh, the, the times through which your doomlings will be existing. And then there's also various catastrophes that you will be attempting to live through. So how you're going to do this is, you're going to take all your catastrophes, you're going to shuffle them into a pile, you're going to draw out three of these things. i got to remember which way these things are going. One, two, three. So then what you're going to do, you're going to take your ages, we've already shuffled these, you're going to pick one, two, three, you're going to take this catastrophe and shuffle it into that pile of ages, if you would be so kind. One, two, three of those. One, two, three into that. So we're going to shuffle these, and then what we're going to do is we're going to stack them on top of each other. And once a third catastrophe has been revealed, that will be the end of the world. And there's various things that happen at the end of the world. There's various things that happen during each catastrophe as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these various ages, I'm not looking at them, all the various catastrophes, I'm not looking at them, and I'm going to put them back in the box or off to the side off camera. Everything is going to start with the birth of life because you don't want to start out your civilization with a catastrophe because that would suck. We're going to get one of each of these. These are, this is your gene pool. And what this is, is it's going to have a number facing up, which is going to be basically your hand size. And so we start, everybody starts with five. I'm going to start with my five. I will, you know, I'm going to put this over here until I uh, uh, choose to do otherwise. So I've got that there. And um, this is for, what did they say, two to six players. <coughs> and I think, I think it'll be better with the more players you get because we, we've played several incarnations of this with two. And it's fun and it's quick. Yeah, it's very fast. Yeah, it's, it's a very light, this is your, uh, your gaming uh uh, or d'oeuvre tray. Yeah. Your gaming uh, uh, it's a tapas. It's a charcuterie. There you go. It's a charcuterie tray. We each will get uh, five of these trait cards. And on each respective turn, we're going to play one of these cards from our hand. And there's going to be different things on different cards. Like some you get bonuses at the end of the world. Sometimes you get bonuses now. But what you're trying to do, you just want a bunch of points. All the cards will have... I'm going to take one out from way down on the bottom. This is a trait card. This is how many points it's going to be uh, when we total things up at the end of the game. This is going to be uh, uh, things that it'll do now. Something like this, it says plus two to your gene pool. You're going to take your gene pool card and you're going to go one, a two. So when you draw cards, you're going to drop to seven. Getting a greater variety in your gene pool is always good. Yeah. I'm putting this to the bottom. Oh, I'm, we're just going to play this. This is going to be more of a playthrough than a front-loading you with a bunch of stuff at the head of the game. Um, I will let uh, you start because we are just going to go with... Um, we're just going to kind of play as we go. And I will uh, <coughs> be blundering through this like most civilizations do until the end of the world, that's in which case... pretty much we live our lives. That's blundering through every, stuff. So every single everything. day. I'm going to put my cards over here so you yeah. guys can see them. I'm going to play Nosy. Um, it, the artwork on these is, is adorable and <laughs> it's, funny. It's, it's, and we, it's just it's it's just funny. They're little... This is look at two random cards from opponent's hand, steal one, and play it immediately. Barf. So I get to look okay, at... Okay, Nosy McNoseerton. I get to look at... 
So I get to look at two random cards. Yeah, so, so basically take a card. And then I get to... Or take those two cards. Those are two cards. And tuck them under the thing mm. and see. I wish that would focus a little better, that other... Here, I'm going to pause it for a second. Okay, now we're back. I focused a little bit so more. So I am going to... Um, give you that one back. Okay. I'm going to play this one. It says boredom. Steal one random card from an opponent's hand, then give him one card from wait, yours. Wait, what? So you you took cards from my hand, yep. gave me one back, and in the process you're going to do it again? Yep. That sounds like garbage. Yeah, okay. congratulations. That's the one you just handed me back. Okay. Uh, and then you give me one of yours. Yep. All right. Before. Now I have uh, okay. four cards left, and so I have to stabilize. And that's that. Oh, go ahead. And that it. means that I have to draw back up to the number of my gene pool. So I have four cards in my hand right now, and then I'll draw another trait, and that will bring me up to five. And then it's John's turn yep. to bring on the end of the row. Anytime you see the word stabilize in any of these cards, it means draw up to your draw or discard up to your uh, gene pool size. Gene pool is your hand. I know it's kind of, it's, you have to just get used to using so that kind of term. Gene pool, traits, ages. And ages. Yep, and uh, gene pool. That, this is your trait pile. Yeah, and this yeah. is, yeah, this is my trait pile, and this is my hand. Okay, I'm going to go with, uh, since I'm kind of showing my hand, I'm going to go with, uh, well, I'll just, you know what, I, I kind of like being nocturnal. I was nocturnal for 20 some years. Nocturnal, the darkest of my muse. Uh, it's going to be three points at the end of the game. I've got three cards in hand. My gene pool is five. I'm going to draw up. I'm going to stabilize, which means draw up to your hand size. Stabilize. I've got uh, oh. something Ooh. I'm not able to do in my real life, hey. so I might as well do it. <laughs> it's, you can do in, it. Well, that's what you know, gaming, gaming is. Your, is it's, your... it's fantasy. Okay. Because... The birth of life is over. Dun, so we're going to draw dun, the next dun. age. Oh, this should have been. This would have been the first age. Set your gene pool at five. Play one random trait each turn and stabilize at the end of your turn. This is this. So we're going to do it this way. I'm going to move this down a bit. And then I'm going to go with, uh, this is the next age, Sea Kingdoms. Play two traits in this turn. Ignore their actions. If your card has a little A on it like this, you're going to ignore what that does on this age. Because the Sea Kingdoms means you're going to ignore any actions you're going to do. So, and, and uh, first player will pass to me because you went first last time, right? Yeah. Okay, so you'll so go I'm going to go with the... Oh, I can't do that because... Uh, so we can play two. Yeah. So I'm going to do... Blah, 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 blah. We don't have any discards yet. So I'm going to go with uh, Hot Temper. Uh, uh, but it says ignore its actions. Discard two cards from your hand. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I ignore its actions. So I'm going to play a second one. I'm going to go with uh, Big Ears. What? And it is uh, now time to stabilize. I've got a gene pool of five. One, two. I'm up to this right char. Sure. Okay. Um, so I'm going to play this one. This is just a sawed out. It's just, this is not an action card. It's right. just got point value. So to play it's that. A, I forget what it's called. I think it's called a traitless it says, card. I saw it, Dad. Now let's go. So it's a <laughs> sawed ad. Oh, wow. Um, gotcha. And then. Um, Textless cards is the ones that we're. The ones that don't have actions on the bottom. So here's my question, though, because mm -hmm. so I have a card here called Mindful, mm -hmm. and it's a, it's an end thing, so it's plus one colorless trait in your trait pile. So do I have to ignore that, or is that not an? This is if a different. Is it the this, one you play at the end of the world? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's at, at, at world's end. Yeah. So I could still play that, not because it's not an action. It doesn't have the A on it. Yes. Yes. Okay. So yeah, that's just that's, that's kind the, of what we're talking textless, about. Yeah. This one, it just says. Mindful, as you walk and eat, travel, there, be where you are. Otherwise, you will miss out on the most of your life. It's plus one <laughs> for each colorless trait in your trait pile, including this one, at the end of the world. At the end of the world, yes. So, so that, that's I can not still an action play you this. take now. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have to. And it, it doesn't have any point value, but it'll give me points at the end of the game. Yeah, the colorless ones are kind of altruistic. They're kind of a buff. Because yeah. they're, they're zero points, but they let you do yeah. other things. Some of them have points, but yeah. they're they're usually, like, they have, like, they're not so much like an action as it's something you get towards the end. Yeah. So I need to stabilize, so yep. I'm going to draw two cards to up to my five, and I am stabilized. Okay, and we are at the end of the turn, so we're at the yep. end of the age, we're at the end of the, crap, okay, well, we're already at a catastrophe. AI takeover, minus one gene pool. Oh, so we're going to knock this down to four. four. 
Okay. Uh, then discard all but one card from your hand. Ugh. Well, oh, right then. no. Well, time to get a discard pile. So I'm going to go with... Um, aha! I'm going to discard all but this. These are the discards. We're going to set these. Let's just set these on here. Since this is already starting to go okay. pear-shaped. Oh, here. There we go. I need all to tape one. off a... Uh, tape off an area that you can see on this because uh, so we're getting new stuff. So we are now at the beginning. It was of, my turn. It was, no, it's my turn. You went, you, went, you went first last time. I went first last time. Yep. It is your, you're going first. Yep. You can still have a turn. This is just, this is one of the catastrophes. You do this things because we're not at the end of the world because this is still the first catastrophe. Okay. So, and so what we're looking if we get three of those, then the game's over. Right. So um, I'm going to play great. the only card I have in my hand and this is called Territorial. And it says, everything that smells like pee is mine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's pretty freaking funny. All right. <laughs> All opponents discard one trait from their trait pile. So you okay. have to discard uh, a red trait. Well. Red trait. Oh, red, red trait. Oh, specifically. Yeah. Well, that eats. All right. All right. Then I'm not, so then, I'm not hot tempered anymore. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Okay. So now I get to stabilize. So I yep. get to draw another new hand of four. Up to four. Yep. Three and four. So I am going to, I th was thinking this was really, really clever at the time, but now it just doesn't make a difference. So I've got iridescent scales, draw three cards, sweet. Well, I'd be doing that anyway, because I have to stabilize. Yeah. So I'm drawing three cards right now. One, two, three, because that was the action that's on the card. And then now that I'm at the end of my turn, I can't draw any, there's no more actions to, me, to have me do. I'm going to draw up to my gene pool of four. Uh, that is the, ooh, not now. Boy, this is not a uh, handy uh, pile of stuff. Okay, we are at the end of that catas catastrophic Catast age. Catastrophe? Uh, a new age is going to begin. And you went first, so I go first? Yep. Okay. Yep. We are at high tides. If you play an effectless trait, that's the ones with the no uh, uh, text. You may play another effectless trait. Well, I don't have I don't have that. Just, I, mean, I have one, but it's... My, well, who cares? I'm going to go with, um, oh boy, ooh, nah, I don't care for that. I'm going to go, well, I don't want that. So I'm going to go with Selfish, steal a red trait from an opponent's trait pile. Yoink. Everything that smells like pee is mine. <laughs> it's your territorial. It's the territorial. You know, I'm going to scoot, no, you know what, I think it's fine. Because we're looking at your, we've got your stack over there. I wish that would. I wish My that would stack's the better, best stack, people. Just it is. So you know. You got the. Uh, and it is. Uh, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna stabilize up to my four. Oh, that's not bad. And it is your turn. Okay, I'm gonna play. This is delicious. It says to save a species from extinction, figure out how to eat it. To play, you must have at least one colorless trait in your trait pile, and I do. Oh. So, um, so that is mine. I'm gonna stabilize up to four. <coughs> And we're about we're at the end of that age. Yep. Like I said, if you get more people, I think it would it's going to end up being a little more uh, interesting. Uh, enlightenment. You may discard two cards before you stabilize. Oh, oh, so if you've got garbage in your hand, you can get rid of it. Uh, it is your turn to start, right? Yep. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to scoop my gene pool over and scoop these up so people can turn their phones sideways to see what I have. Because eh, they're watching you more than they're watching me because you're the draw. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Uh, did I do anything or am I just sitting here talking or is it your turn? Um, it's it's my turn, correct? Yeah. Yes, okay. I believe so. Um, all right. I'm going to play... Okay, so now we're talking about dominant traits because I'm going to play a dominant trait. Yes. Um, a dominant trait, you can have two of them in your pile, and basically they're... It, it, it can't be stolen. Yeah, it can't be stolen, can't be discarded. It's it's there the whole time. Um, it usually gives you a pretty good action, and they usually have a pretty high point value. Yeah. Um, so mine is vampirism, and it's... Oh! I, I want to suck <laughs> your blood, and I get to steal a trait from an opponent's trait pile and play its action. My trait pile? Yeah. So that's this. Yep. That's lame. So, what do I got here? Selfish. What so is it? So you can steal, or take the action and steal the red trait that I just stole from you. Yeah. What's this one? Not Nocturnal. That's just three trait. points. What is? Oh, okay. It doesn't so have yeah, any I'll actions. take. I'll, uh, so you're gonna what's take. What's this one? Draw three cards. Uh, draw three cards. I'm gonna take. Er. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll take that because I'll get two cards out of that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so you'll get one that you know of. So. Okay. Because you get to do that and take its action. I steal a red paint. Yep, so I get to do this. I still stole this one. And um, oh, I stole that one and then I got that one. So. Because you don't have any red traits. Uh, line up your colors. Oh, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I'm... <sighs> I'm ready. I've got the, the thing. All right. So I'm, now I'm I played that. So I stole the selfish card and I got right. the territorial card nice. back. And <laughs> the selfish card's action was to steal a red trait. So I got to steal that back. Yeah. So that's the only one I've Now I'm going to. I have a feeling this age is not going to go well yeah, for me. So. This... All right. That's you done? Yep. You did stir. You started first, yeah? Yep. Turn them on. I want that. I want that. I'm gonna go with deep roots. Just so I can get two points at some point. I discussed the weather with my neighbor. This is now my forever home. Deep roots. Deep roots. Oh, I gotta stabilize up to four because we haven't had anything to buff my gene pool. Yep. Uh, we are at a new age of forest reforestation. Uh, traits in your trait pile cannot be swapped, stolen, or discarded. That would have been nice. Okay. Uh, so I go first this time, right? Yep. So I'm going with uh, a saliva. Plus one to my gene pool. Good. So I will now be able to stabilize. Oh, it was this. Which means I had a four up here, and I'm going to stabilize and take it up to five. I'm taking that off the screen. Uh, I'm going to go, I got two car, three cards. I'm going to go one, a two, who. And you, oh. Oh, oh, no. Okay, your turn. Okay, um, so I'm going to play this one's called Propagation, much easier than dating. Play another trait. And so I'm going to do oh, a green. Neat. Yep, so I got that one, and I'm going to set that one. Can you guys see that one? Or slide that over. Oh, slide. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you and then plenty of room over here. I'm like going to, here. okay, and then I'm going to play for my next trait. I'm going to play a, another dominant card, and it's plus two for every trait I have with a negative face value, but it has a value of four as well. Yeah. So nice. So if you can get there, because blue I think has a bunch of negatives in it. I'm trying to get the kind of the 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 uh, the the vibe behind the colors. The 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 reds are all more action focused. The blues are I think a little more negatives, but then you get to do something else. Colorless are a little altruistic, like I said. The purple I yeah. think are just weird. They usually have kind of something bulky. like you know you something you get to do yeah. like you know. And, and a lot of some of them have stuff that you can do at the world's end. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, uh, you now you're done, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, done. Uh, we need new age. You've already done. Yeah, because okay. I did because I, I buffed my uh, gene okay. pool with my saliva. Okay. <laughs> Coastal formations. Draw one card after after you stabilize. That's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go with. Hmm. I don't like that one too much. So I'm gonna go with. Ha. Um, huh. I'm going to go with Trunk, play the top card uh, from the discard pile, and ignore its action. So I'm just getting two points from that. Yeah. I'm just going to take that and just go clunk. Okay, I'm going to play this one. It's called Prepper, more like Apocalypse No. <laughs> so Apocalypse No. Wow. At World's oh, wait, End. Oh, wait, hang on, i got to stabilize. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. One, and then I get to draw one after I stabilize. Okay. okay, go ahead, sorry. At the World's End, I get to choose a World's End effect from the three catastrophes played for each player to end on. Say what? It says, at World's End, I choose a World's End effect from the three catastrophes played for players to end on. So I get to choose. You get So there's two end of the world effects? Yeah, yeah from, the th any three, uh, from the three catastrophes oh, for the you players get to, to end on. Okay, pick, so you yeah. pick the, 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 the World's End thing. Yeah. So you, oh, that's interesting. So now I'm going to stabilize. <laughs> wow, I'm, boy. Uh, okay. okay, and uh, there we go. All right. Uh, and we're done, yeah? Because I went first. Yeah, because yep. I played my trunk and then did that. Okay, we're at a new age. Uh, did you stabilize up to your four? Yep. I'm new age. Cool. Tectonic shifts. Players cannot play green traits. Boo. Okay, you go first. Okay, oh, what am I doing? Um, I'm going to... I'm going to play just flatulence. Five alarms, really <laughs> fire in the hole, and it's just three points. There's no wow, action. Wow, it's just a thing. It's huh? just points. All right. Yep. And then I'm going to drop to stabilize. And all right. I'm going to follow your colorless lead. And I'm going to do a dominant trait that can't be stolen called faith, faith, faith. Baby. At world's end, you may change one color to one alternative color on all of your traits. So if I had something that said, like, you get uh, plus one to all your... Um, 
uh, plus one to all the purple traits. I'm going to go, well, I've got 18 trunk or green traits. I'm going to say these are all purple now. So something like that. So I'm going to stabilize up to one, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, I can't stabilize because I'm, I mean, I'm already stable because I have five. Uh, that's You're the end of the age. Stable. I bet there's a catastrophic coming. Come. A catastrophic catastrophe. A mass extinction. Minus one gene pool. Somebody flip me over. Yes. I'm back to four. I'm Discard to one card from your hand for every colorless trait in your trait <gasps> pile. Oh, oh, wow. So you got to dump your whole hand. I get to do, yeah, my whole hand goes. Ugh, wow. So I'm going to discard do I, one, two, three, four. So what do four. I do then? You just have to I don't get to turn. I don't get to turn. Yeah, oh. on that turn. Okay, so I'm going to discard one. It's not wow. random, right? Discard from where in your hand from... Oh, okay. This, I don't like this. It's a brute strength. Yeah, see, this, there's some of these, some of these things come with hollow foils, and this is one of the hollow foils. They're pretty. Beauty. They're pretty. Because it's beauty -ness. I like this stuff. Okay, I'm discarding the brute strength because it's minus one to your gene pool. Uh, so you can't do anything, so I'll go ahead and uh, go with... Why did you discard that one? Because of the the, 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 the catastrophe thing. What is Minus it? one gene pool. So you discard from oh. your hand per, for the colorless. I only have one. Oh, oh gotcha. Um, I'm going to go with... So I don't need to play this you know, round. You know what? I'm going to go... Uh, now that we're at the end of that, I'm going to go with fear. Just so I can put a point on the board. Uh, are they did they, are they, are they did, did done playing yet? Thank you. That's my acting. That's your... Acting background. Coming through. Um, wow. Well, well. This is not going well for me. Well, it was. I you keep losing. Off, I've lost every game we've played. I... I'm gonna, full disclosure, I have not done well <laughs> on this game. Uh, okay, I've got my four. I've stabilized it four. Uh, okay, last thing. Birth of a hero. Oh, that would have been nice. i got to stabilize. Uh, no, you don't. Oh, yeah, at the end of your turn, you would have yeah, stabilized. Yeah, because I don't have Oh, any... shoot, we should have done that yeah, before sorry. I threw mine. That's okay. I, I just lost a turn is basically what happened. You okay. know what? If we were playing for money, I might care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But the age is called Birth of a Hero. If you hold heroic, play it without restriction. That's the thing. You can only have two dominant traits. Right. The ones that can't be stolen or lost or discarded or bombed. Heroic is a green trait where it's got a, a caveat, like you have to have three green traits in your pile to play that. This is the only way you could end up with three dominant traits. It says, so in the rule book, I read that and I went, oh, dang. Well, now we know well, now this. We know. Because when you read rules, read all of them. Do yourself. Uh, what? R T R what is it? R T F R B. Rule. Read the freaking rule book. We're trying to stay. PG that also is a really good uh, game channel that I've been watching a lot of. So, um, so I've done talking. It's I start this turn, right? Because yeah. you had to skip the last turn. I'm gonna go with. Um. Okay. I've got this thing. It's pollination plus one for every card in your trait pile with a face value of one, including this one. Um, so when we come to totaling things up at the third catastrophe, uh, I'm going to get a little buff for that. I'm going to uh, go up to four because that's my gene pool. Uh, that one is not terrible. Uh, and it is your turn. Okay, I get late. Um, sorry I'm late. You may play late from your hand after you stabilized, which means I can... Draw You've another got card. So much colorless over there. And then I Agreed. can play. Um, I can play and another card because I get to play late. This up over here. So I get to play. Just... I, I. He's talking over me. Sorry, I'm sorry. I do that all the time. I'm so <laughs> just I just, I just. I get so excited about things, and I just get. So what I get to do with this one is I get to play late. So I stabilize. I get to play one more because I get to be, play late. Um, so I'm going to do this one, and then I get. To, uh, um, I get to play another card from my hand because I, I'm late. No, late you get to play after you stabilize. You may play late from your hand after you stabilize. Yeah, you, that means that card, I think, because that's the way I've been reading it. You play late or, after you stabilize. So if you play this, okay, I'm going to stabilize now. Oh, okay. And then well, you play okay, late. Okay, then we're so going background. Just, we'll but just, I still get to do this one, which yeah. is I uh, get to play steal one green trait from... What was the pollination? What? That's plus one for every uh, one uh, one point card in my trade pile. Okay. I'm going to take that. Well, you know, I really hope something. Okay. So now, there we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, up. end of that age, end of that age. Oh, this this was the last one. This is the third catastrophe. So this is, is the, this the end third? of the game. This is the third one. Are you sure? Yes, because it was it's oh, yeah. the top of the thing. So okay. this is the thing. This is at the end of the world. What happens normally is you you don't take any more turns. You do whatever the first part says. This is the catastrophe. Plus zero but to your gene I pool. Get to we don't choose. care. 
Yes, what, that's what the only difference. What that effect we, we land on, effect from the three catastrophes played at players end on? So here we go. We've got this uh, catastrophe. We've got this catastrophe. And then we've got this catastrophe. And that world's end is going to be the stuff that is in yellow on the so bottom of that. I so I can choose to yeah. either each color's trade is now worth two. Oh, ignore... my God. At the end of the world? Okay. But does that mean they're each worth two or... If they're worth more does than it that, say, does, does it, it say plus two or two? Now worth two, but, so I don't want that one. Yes, you do, because no, you've got some in there that are zero. No, but oh, I've got some in there that are fours, you got a one, four. But two, everything is two. One. That's a one. So you're getting a buff to so get three two, of them. So i four, six, eight, ten. If I didn't, it'd be two, And four. the other two over there. Oh, this is oh. oh that's, no, three, that's tough. Four, five, six. It's how quick can you seven, mask? Nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, actually, that would be good. But, so if you pick that one, you would, get, uh, you would gain a point, trait. basically. Ah, uh, you know, I'm gonna uh, grab yeah, a, because... I'm going to grab some tallying paper. Because I have way more traits than you do. Oh, you have absolutely more traits than me. So I guess I'm going to do where all my colors traits are now worth two. Because it does slightly okay. give me, like, a little bit of an advantage. Okay. So the way the end of the world works... Uh, normally is you do, uh, the white part and then you do the yellow part and then you are done. You don't take another turn unless there is something that says you can take another turn in some of these cards. Right. So what we're going to do now, the way this scoring goes at the end of the game, we've got all our ages done. We're going to clear all this stuff out of here. So I will add up, you're going to add up your points first. That's these parts. So I've got three, four, five, six. Uh, eight, ten, uh, eleven. I don't really need this, so I've got fifteen, and then play the t okay. Oh no, <laughs> fifteen. I've only got sixteen points this yeah, time. I've got twenty-seven. As of right now, well, right. criminy. Okay, well you you that's you just mop that's the just point that's just floor me. that's just this. Plus I get you, hang on, I get a plus one for every one in my pile. So wait, twenty-eight. Wait, wait. what? Oh, that's right. Thirty. Wow. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Holy cow. So that's thirty-three. Here, I I bow to your superior wow, uh, gene that, pool. Holy! I don't have any mackerel. negatives. Yeah, uh, so I there's got more points. If there I... are other cards uh, because what you do is you add up these points first. You add the points points in the corners, and then there's other cards that have. Uh, uh, there's the thing. It's 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 called a compass arrow. I've got um, one right here. Okay, there's there's this where you would add these up and do what it says, like swarm. This is you know you you get plus one for every one of these in your pile, and then the last thing you do, there is a little there's a little drop of life uh, down in the corner down here. I don't know how well you can see that, um, but down in this corner there's a little uh, little gray droplet, and then you add those up at the end. We didn't end up with any. Yeah. Oh, you, so you had that. I had oh, one, yeah. but I didn't have any negatives. Have so this any one negatives. would have given me plus two for any trait I had a negative the face value in my pile. So you so. crushed me. Well, there you go. You beat me so badly. I finally went so on badly. camera. I finally, I documented. I documented, <laughs> documented my win. Your wins. Even though you I lost what? every single time yeah, before that's fine. Hand, So uh, Okay, now, now comes the review part. If you made it this far, great. We, I really like this game. I love games like it's, this. It I, is a, co not a cotton candy game, but like you said, it's an aperitif. It's yeah, a bon it's fun. Mall. It's very fun. I yeah. can see, I can see this being a great game for a crowd of people. Yes. Like, if you have people over, in fact, we game. I we've said we game, we game with some friends almost every Friday night. Yep. Um, and there's four of us. I think this would, I think this might be our next game to yes. try for one of our games for game night. I think it's it's a lot of fun. It's really easy to play. Yeah. Um, I think everything's we, on the cards. Yeah. That you need to we know. learned it in about five minutes. Yeah. I mean, we sat easy. down and within five minutes we had it. Yeah. Um, it's very easily explained on the cards. It tells you what you do right there. Um, the art is adorable. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, of, um, a lot of great colors. They've got a lot of great stuff. They've got expansions for it. They've yeah. got, just in case you're wondering, they've got game variants as well. There's, um, you can make games longer, you can make them shorter. Like, uh, there's a stunted growth variant where, 
uh, you don't take a turn during the catastrophes. There is a prosperous world where you add more ages between catastrophes. Like, you'll start with, instead of three ages, you have four ages and you shuffle a catastrophe. That might that. be the way to go for a two-player game. That's true. Yeah. That would be when good. You want it to be a little um, bit. Intelligent design is a drafting version of it where you, everybody gets their five, you take one, and then you pass it around. Yeah, so you just go around yeah. the table. And there's, you know, everything. I like me a, a rule book that's this many pages. It's, it's, this is the rules. Here we go. And it's that, and it's that. It's a very, it's a good game to start off the night. Yeah. I think. I also one... love games where you get to screw over your neighbor. Well, so, yeah, just. Um, there's a lot of cards in here that let you just, you know, yeah, bonk them just, on the head. Yes. Um, yeah, that's one of my, my little problems is I like games that are like, ha ha, you can't do this now. Take that. So, take that. They call them take that uh, games. <laughs> the kids call them the take that the take games. Take that games what the kids call them. The kids um, game with their big pants. Anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like it. I like it a I, lot. I do too. Way to go. Doom leads. We, are, we, uh. Kick started this. Yes, I, I did the base yeah. set. There's there's gold versions. There's the games. There's other expansions as well. There's um, Techlings, which add things that you had to have host traits for. There is the Meaning of Life expansion, which gives you other kind of the secret uh, bonus things for the end of your uh, after the end of the world. I think that's what there was. Yeah. But I got this is the base set, and uh, it's really good. I Art's like it. really cool. Um, the box is very shiny. I like yes. that. Like well, me a shiny box. Um, we're we're suckers for games like this, like quick, no. easy card games. Um, don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. We don't have eight hundred of them. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, uh, these games are always fun. Uh, these quick card games, um, I think. Yeah, I think uh, if, you, if you have kids that are. Uh, yes, they eight, say. I would say eight and up. Uh, it says, what, 14 and up? Yeah, I'd say. Uh, 10 and nine. up. Yeah. yeah. I'd say eight, eight, nine, you, got, ten. You, got, you get your smart kids. Yeah, I mean, this. if you got kids that are a little bit, you know, like, I mean, I would say eight, nine, ten. You could, there's nothing offensive in the artwork. I mean, no, just, you it's, know. it's pretty banal. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's I mean, the worst thing I saw was the, you know, if you pee thing, which is funny yeah, well, as hell. Well, you know, peas but and farts. Pee, so yeah, peas or farts are funny. Yeah. Um, I think it's it's fun for adults. I think you could absolutely get older kids involved in this, and they'd have a lot of fun. I do. Um, a, I do a, 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 a card fan, but there's, yeah, there's so many of these cards. There's so uh, the cards some. are nice. They're they're kind of that they're, yeah linen linen yeah. finish. Yeah, they're really um, nice. The artwork's real nice and crisp. I mean, there was I have no I didn't see anything that was mis or you know like offset print or anything. The yeah. cards are really quality. Yeah, they really um, did a nice job, and they yeah. got it to me in a timely manner. And yeah. Yeah, everything's yeah. out there. Yeah. Go buy this. Yeah. If you haven't bought it, go to doomlings.com and, get, and it. Uh, get it. We like we, it. We think you do too. Yeah. Because we like you. And we don't want you to We don't want your end disappear. of the world to be boring. Yeah. So don't <laughs> don't don't fret the end of the world. Yeah. Ah, go get Doomlings. That's the and, that's the welcome to Doomlings. It says on your first playthrough you might overthink your hand. Like there's some hidden perfect path to take. But then this is the when is this the case in life? Just never, play it. Just Live like, in the moment. Live in the Doomlings moment. And Boy, get a pretty we're, shiny box. We're, we're just nailing this. We are. We got it. Anyway, thanks, That's you right. guys. Everybody. And as always, stay spooky. Yes. Right. See you later. Bye.